Welcome to episode 20 of Let's Play Civilization 3 Play the World. Well, as we have seen, we captured not two, but three cities on our last video. Success like that is uncommon. Also, if you hadn't noticed in our last video, We've only been going at a rate of, um, we didn't even finish an entire turn that video. The last ten or so videos have been like a turn per video. That video, we didn't even complete a whole turn because we have a lot to do. Well, that turn that we've been on since the end of video 68 will be over in this video. So anyway, I'm setting a few cities to build bombers and jet fighters. A jet fighter is just a more advanced version of the regular fighter. It just has a longer range, it's more likely to intercept people, and I really need them against all the Celtic bombers that are, have been harassing me all this time. Alright. Also, I formed a concrete strategy about how I want to proceed with this war. I'm going to start east and go west. So all those cities in the east that you see there are going to be my first target. First the remaining two Mongol cities, and then the Celtic cities of the east. Then I'll move west and attack those cities. Yep, and before long, it will all be mine. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Well... In the meantime, eh, why not uh, move some tanks? I'm splitting my tanks up between sending them to those two cities so that they can launch further attacks and be defensive in the future. I must have like 30 tanks somewhere in my empire, maybe, maybe even 40. I'll have to check later. All right sending up my workers because I went to uh, like usual complete my roads so my invasion routes will be intact alright fortify these guys and attack him why not he's a nuisance we can get him or maybe we won't uh, who knows so well, we'll always try again. Well, that worked at least. Alright, let's fortify him there. More tanks. We'll send him in to a fortify and prepare for further um, movements against our enemies. Especially the Celts, since the Mongols are almost turning into nobodies now. Alrighty. Well, all these guys will simply move into here to fix themselves up before they go out again for more <coughs> attacking. So, what else do we have going on here? You go there. Alright, fortify you. And that worker's done whatever he was doing, which I suppose was fixing up the road, building infrastructure around Delhi. So we're just going to send him over to Madras to um, finish doing the infrastructure there. Germany and Arabia have signed a peace treaty. Eh, that doesn't really bother me, actually. Well, here come the Germans trying to um, get the Chinese back for taking the Korean city I guess so here they come and yes I guess they do take it back and they do have a lot of Panzers and they're moving them up there to attack the Koreans and I presume more Chinese guys I wonder now that the Chinese tanks are starting to reach that if they'll be able to fight back yes and what did I say about those 
bombers. And here comes a Celtic tank to waste my my tank. Yes. More troops. Alright. And here come the Koreans to fight back against the Germans. And boom. No good. Well, the Koreans didn't pack much of a punch. Their turn's already over. Alright. <coughs> well, and here come the Chinese. Attacking with a vengeance. Alright. Blow him up. More Chinese attacking. Alright. Oh, it looks like the city's under attack now. Alright, boom. Another guy. And he's also under attack. Hmm. And he's gone, and oh, that's it. How about that? For the second time in one video, that city has changed hands. Well, it doesn't matter to me if they all blow themselves up out there, or blow each other up. Oh, how about that? We've discovered fission. Seems like we've been going after fission for ten videos, which we probably have. Now, fission does a few important things. Um, the first of which, it gives you the ability to look at the last resource that you'll ever have which is uranium. Uranium is very important for building certain units including nuclear weapons. Yes, that's right, there are nukes in this game but um, we'll still be a few videos before we see them. As for right now we get to expand our palace again and you know how I love doing that and take a close look because this is the palace fully built we have now fully expanded our palace. Look at it. Isn't it pretty? Alright. Enough of that. Um, now what I'm going to want to do is check to make sure I do have uranium. Because apart from nuclear weapons, there are also a few other things we can build. And yes, I already have two sources of uraniums. Which is very good. I'm very happy about that. Also there are two great wonders in which you can build with uranium one is the all-important United Nations and I'll talk more about that later but just let it be said that there's a victory condition that comes with it and the other is the Manhattan Project which you might be able to guess what that does but I'll talk about that in another video too okay now, first I want to see if I can trade technology, but the Koreans are already ahead. I could buy Space Fright, but look at all I have to give them. So, no, doesn't matter. Now I decide to talk to the Chinese, see if we can trade any technology with them, and no, we're equal with them, exactly. So, we talk to the Arabs. And, come on. Turns out they also have space flight. Oh well. Well, with our increased money, we can increase scientific funding, but it's still going to take 22 turns to get to ecology. That's ridiculous. You might think that's really slow, and it is. Well, there's two reasons. For one, we're getting a lot of effort into our war here, and for another reason, we're in communism, not democracy. And communism, or democracy, is better for. Um, business, but communism is better for war. All right, now we are just filling in these two cities that we um, set out to found on our last turn. Pretty much a net increase of five cities in two videos. What a great thing! Well, that's where I'm going to leave off here. Hope you enjoyed this video, and hope to see you again on episode. 71.